of uh, some of the crazy things that are said by the moms-to-be to their husbands. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people videotape the uh, birth, which I think is ridiculous. The hell is that? Who the hell are you showing that to? I heard recently that it's illegal. Is it? They don't allow it anymore. So Why is that? So we'd have to get the older videotapes. Why do they make it illegal? You know, the, the mothers-to-be just losing their effing minds. Uh, huh. Legal reasons, I guess. I wonder why. Maybe they don't want a videotape of it just in case uh, the doctor slips up. And the insurance companies, that's probably it. But this uh, video out there of uh, moms-to-be losing their minds. How could you yeah. and yelling at their husbands as they're giving birth to their kid? The husbands get... Oh, yeah, yeah. All right? Man, <laughs> don't miss anything. Yes, Anthony. You were... Uh, uh, this whole conversation was reminding me of my uh, my great wedding day. You had a great day, right? And uh, no, and I, I uh, more details are, are sifting through my brain here and coming to the surface. Do you know my my wife of mere hours, mere hours, when we finally uh, we we uh, had the wedding at the Justice of the Peace's house in the living room. Then we went to the bar that's now a strip club uh, for the reception. And then everyone went back to where we lived, which was a bottom floor apartment in a house in Greenlawn. I was gonna say, which trailer park? No, it was, it was in Greenlawn. Some like bottom basement apartment thing, but we were able to use the yard that day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God, was this me? Just, Am I talking about me? It is the, the, the split level ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of those, uh, you know, those, uh, yeah, split level rent. It's like, it's like a two story deal. But so, so your mom was renting the the bottom half? No, no, no. This was just people in Greenlawn. Other people that were down at the bar, you know, lived upstairs. Some drinking guys, you know, and and we had the apartment downstairs. We all shared the rent, you know, that kind of deal. Remember an old car on blocks in the backyard? Oh, yeah. Just put some bunting on that. That'll look good. Put a little decoration on that. Oh, God, it was horrible. Ugh. And then the kicker. Uh, well, the wife. Hey, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah. I'm going to leave for about 10 minutes. No, cause, no. Because when you start talking this way, it gets really uncomfortable. No, no. Well, put it this way. Do I have e to look at you? <laughs> everyone's drinking, right? Everyone's drinking. Mm -hmm. And the wife gets hammered. Hammered. And uh, Well, let me play the other side. A lot of uh, people get hammered at their own. Sure, meeting. sure. Like I said, the wife was hammered. <laughs> she she all of a sudden. Were you hammered? Um, I was I was pretty good. I was doing all right, but you know me, I don't get to the point where I get out of control, belligerent. No, not at all. I I like to uh, stay focused on things. Believe me, I wanted I needed heroin that day. <laughs> I should have had it. So uh, uh, the wife of mere hours had, had gotten into this problem with my brother. Because my, she had thought, in in some stupor, that my brother was trying to uh, pick up her cousin that had come down from Massachusetts. And she didn't like my brother. Thought he was a scumbag. Why didn't your wife and, like your brother? Oh, what the hell do I know? Well, I don't know. She just doesn't d didn't like him at the time. Right. So she thinks it's a good idea to then uh, go in to the, the house where my mother is sitting and start yelling and cursing out my mother about what a prick my brother is. <laughs> and I'm standing there like, you know, I uh, I, I forgot something down the hall. No, oh, you didn't. Gonna, no, you didn't. I'm going to take a little walk. Your f***ing son is trying to f*** my cousin and I don't want the f***ing to f And my mother's sitting there like, what? She gives me a look like, um, you just married this? <laughs> you just, I'm sitting on a couch with duct taped arms <laughs> in your basement apartment and your brand new drunken wife is cursing me out hey, because Jim. she hates your brother? Jim, you want to go get a cup of coffee? <laughs> and, 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 you know my family. My family is probably the closest family you will ever see on the face of this earth. We would kill for each other. So my mother is doing this balancing act because anybody's bad-mouthing my brother, she will lunge 
Sal calls her a tigress with her young. She nice. will she will lunge. Yet she couldn't because now she's got to think of me too. I just I just married into this. So now she's sitting there like, what do what, Anthony? Why do and that if he goes near her again, I'm throwing the whole bunch of you scum out of the. And I'm just like, I felt like Fredo at that wedding. <laughs> 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 Remember the party? Hey, Freddy, you want us to take care of this? Or you want it to... Yeah, take care of it, Mike. Take care of it. She Never did. marry a wop. <laughs> <laughs> Never marry a wop. She, she did not say that. Oh, it was brutal. It was brutal. And I stood there like, what? And that's when it hit me. That's when it hit me a ton of bricks. I was like... What did I what did I, what did I just get myself into? What did I get myself into? Yeah, we have audio of it. Oh my god. At his wedding, right? Yeah. Yeah. What? At, at this moment. We, I have, have, like, we have audio of what you were thinking, Anthony. What happened? We knew we were gonna do a radio show, so we figured we'd better start taping you. Oh good. Way back then. So uh here's Anthony at that moment. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was pretty much it. I was like, I was, I was a broken, beaten man, and I had been married for six hours, six hours of marriage, and I was broken and beaten. <laughs> hey, here's audio of your uncle uh, trying to make you feel better. All time, right, Anthony. How about a fresca? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> here's me. I got nowhere else to go! <laughs> I got nowhere else to go! <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it was horrid. What a dark day that was, man. Did you scream at her? Yeah, what'd you do? No, I, I was shocked! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what did you drop? <laughs> I was in a state of shock. I was standing there, and like then I, I kind of like ushered off, like, hey, 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 D relax. This isn't the time or place. You're like, hey, 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 at least I have hey, hey. my friend Booze. <laughs> so I was like, oh, my, my God. My friend, the captain. I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, Frank from Manhattan. So, Ant, at what point did the cameras from cops show up to immortalize this happy occasion? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that's all it needed. Woo, bad boys, bad boys. Uh, we're responding to a domestic. Me and my cheap uh, uh, old suit. Did you guys at least cut the, the back lawn? Uh, yeah, I think the back lawn was cut. Nice. Some big tarp was put up. Oh, very nice. It was awful. Did you have some uh, decorations? Yeah, I think they were like uh, wedding bells tilted slightly sideways. Where'd you go on your decorations? honeymoon? Decorations. There was no honeymoon. There was no honeymoon. I, what, I wasn't affording a honeymoon. I was working for Apollo Air Conditioning. <clears throat> I had my uh, my Apollo van. I'm sure you could have went to Lake Ronkonkoma for the weekend. <laughs> could have. I didn't even go to Atlantic City. I couldn't afford anything. I was broke. You didn't I didn't have a pot to whiz in or a window to throw it at. You didn't have a honeymoon? So no, there was no right after the wedding. Um, let's see. Uh, we uh, Did went. It take the next day off at least. Um, I don't even remember. I don't even remember. I went upstairs. I believe um, she had passed out, and um, I believe uh, I laid there looking at the ceiling with uh, <laughs> with tears of of regret and sorrow rolling down the sides of my face. That was happy <laughs> happy honeymoon. Here's Aunt being brave to his new wife at the time. Why don't you stop dressing me up like a mammy and making me dance for you while you go and smoke crack in your bedroom and have sex with some guy I don't even know on my dad's bed. There it is. Hey, a lot of questions coming in, Anthony, for you. Yeah. Hey, Chris, how are you? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, hey, man. I was just wondering who catered Anthony's wedding. Was it Swanson or Hungry Man? <laughs> love you, Norton. Love you, Stanky. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Mike, uh, I'll answer Mike. All right, no. If I'm, you want to go somewhere I'm, else first, yeah, no, Mike, I'm going hold right on. To Mike. All right, Mike. Mike. Uh, yeah. What's up, man? What's your uh, little question? Do you 
have any friends that would try to talk you out of marrying this woman? Here is the deal. Oh, God. Friends cannot talk people out of marrying p other people. I've had, this I've had this conversation. You can't do it. It's, it's, a, it's a situation where, first of all, once you pop that question, you know what I mean? You're on the peak of the roller coaster, and now you're just ready to go down. If a, f a friend can only talk a friend off of the marriage roller coaster before you get into the car. You know what right. I'm talking about? Yeah. Once, once you're on, it's very difficult to get back off. And you just get on that ride, and it's over. And, and your friend has to make a decision. If I go up to him and say, this girl isn't good for you, you might F the friendship up. You'll always be there as a friend to the guy, even when the, the marriage ends. But if you screw it up and say you you shouldn't marry this chick, you might blow the friendship. So many yep. guys will not tell the guy not to do this. I didn't tell my brother. And like Opie said at the wedding, we're all just going, dude, this is just a goddamn disaster in the making. You know? But you don't do it. So you wait and... Yeah, but they passed out the, the blow-up guitar and those uh, risky business uh, sunglasses. So we're and all the blow-up saxophones. We're all feeling good for a while. Well, it was start. a rock and roll wedding. Rock and roll. More audio of Anthony uh, uh, getting, oh. getting tough with his new bride. Uh -huh. Hey, listen, Mickey. <laughs> why don't you go knit me a sweater before I slap you in the face? <laughs> Anthony, what was your wedding song? Sure. Well, Paul E. from Lawrence is saying, did you guys walk down the aisle to Bob Buckman on WBAB? <laughs> <laughs> we just had the radio on. <laughs> did not. <laughs> you didn't have, like, a little reception in the backyard? You no, there was no wedding song. There was no uh, uh, yeah. big you reception. You had some form of entertainment. It was just a party. Did you have a magician a in the backyard? There was <laughs> nothing. <laughs> little magic tricks? There was... There was uh, 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 tape player playing with speakers up in the upstairs window. Did you have your 8-tracks? A little box of 8-tracks? No, no 8-tracks. Cassette tapes. Oh, man. Cassette tapes. Uh, 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 Lewis, what's up? Dude, uh, th th this is the ultimate cringe radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's horrific, dude. I'm just curious. Was your wedding song, Fairy Tales, could come true? It could yeah, happen to you. you. <laughs> if you're stupid enough. Yeah, well, thank you. Hey, dude, I'm going outside and I'm chopping my wedding ring fingers off. Yeah, do that. All right, Lewis. Later. The wedding song at that wedding should have been one bourbon, one shot, one beer. <laughs> yeah, awesome. exactly. It was it was hard. Oh, it was it was. Wow. I, I look back. It was one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> More audio of Aunt being brave. All right, Here's Amen. new bride. Hey, you get your bitch ass back in the kitchen <laughs> and make me some pie. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> See, the whole wedding was supposed to be. We're not breaking any uh, agreements here today, are we? No, I just can't talk about the, any of the divorce proceedings or, right. or, or any uh, settlement uh, things. I could talk about my life being married and my wedding. Of course. Okay. Walter? I've just held it back in my head in a dark spot in my brain that probably contains abuse at some point in my childhood. Ooh. It's probably the same spot that that, that monster jumps out of. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, what's up? Hey, guys, what's up? Hey. Yo, yo, Anthony. Yeah. You heard she, I heard she was passed out. Did you have sex with her at least? Oh, you, you know something? I don't even think so. I don't know. I, I, was, I was horrified. I was, uh, I was very uh, sorry what i had just done i was it was uh, d one of the worst days of my life it's not rape if there's a ring on the finger and i really i really uh, realized to get out of it quick because it only took nine and a half years for me to leave i am a glutton for punishment <laughs> i had nothing and then and then i decide hey what's better than being in a marriage that i really uh, don't want to be in hmm <laughs> uh, financial debt that's good. I'll fill out a bunch of uh, uh, Visa and MasterCard things and get about $25,000 in debt. That'll help me out. I'll buy a jet ski to escape my, my life. <laughs> you know what I had to do? I, 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 oh, I, I, I got... I got, you're, I got uh, you're still talking? I got uh -huh. a bunch of credit cards, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That I couldn't possibly pay off. And I knew it. Mm -hmm. Then I had to talk... The girl that didn't want me to even get a cell phone. Mm -hmm. What do you need that for? It's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. like, well, everyone's got one. Opie's got one. Could I get one? No. So I didn't get a cell phone. So then I had to talk her into how the money that the the credit I had on the credit cards that was supposed to be for emergencies only, somehow a Sea Doo jet ski was an emergency at that very moment. And I went out and I bought one. Everyone just keep nodding at Anthony. And and uh, any minute I got, I spent out on the water. 
with my uh, sea do and uh, I never, ever, ever would have paid off that debt. If hey, I didn't. Uh, more audio, Vance. Uh, first day of marriage. Yeah. I hate this place. <laughs> Nothing works here. The medications don't work. <laughs> I've been here for seven years. Uh, Scott from Reading. Hey, Aunt, did the OTB have the over-under on how long your wedding would last? <laughs> uh, uh, just think, if Anthony would have faked being asleep all those years ago, perhaps, oh, wouldn't have faked being asleep, perhaps Richard could have talked him out of marriage. <laughs> yeah, you, you blew off your best friend. No, I didn't. <laughs> Does she do this for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Johnny Gad. Johnny. Hey, what's up, Owen? Hey, man. Hey, little Jen, how you doing? Hi, Johnny. Hey, uh, Ann, I heard a rumor that your wedding cake was Fudgy the Whale. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Fudgy the Whale for any wedding occasion. A oh, cookie puss? Cream. Cookie puss? You need a cookie puss. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same cake, just just, just done up better. <laughs> oh, very good, bro. All right, later, guys. Bye. I don't know what I was uh, like doing back then. I was on this. Uh, I was on like a train. Tr my whole life was on this train track. It really was with everything. Like if I if I got that job, like I got that job at Apollo Air Conditioning, right? Tin knocking. I wanted to further myself. I wanted to do something. But I was always once I got on a track, I could not get off of it, and I just stayed there, being miserable, uh, doing a job I really didn't want to do. Fine people though, there at Apollo Air Conditioning. Don't uh, get me wrong there. I'm just saying the work, I hated it. And then the whole marriage thing, I, I reached a point before I got married that I was saying, how is this getting to this point? And instead of speaking up and going, hey, you know, it's going a little quick. I really don't want to get married. I just stayed on the goddamn track and I just trudged forward until before I know it, I'm saying I do. And I was like, I really, you, Opie, you, you can look at me. Opie, are you still talking? I <laughs> see you're just looking at machinery and Rick, and you look a little uncomfortable. <laughs> no, not at all. I, I'm here to support you. But my personality had always been like that, and thank God, like it, it did finally change. Like I, I realized, you know, and, and it changed after I started working in radio and working with Opie and whatnot. And then before I knew it, I was like, you know, something, I could kind of uh, control my destiny here somewhat. And you gotta, you know, as they say, grab that bull by the horns and divorce her. Hey, I got the, <laughs> did you pick yourself up by your bootstraps? Yes, right by him. A got, little strap in the back. I got audio of you uh, the day after the wedding. Oh, you do, do you? Oh, yes, I do. This is less fun than previously indicated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your good friend Foot wants in on Hey! That. Hey, Foot. Hey, what's happening? How you doing, Foot? Oh, man, I got a little. How's hey, hey? First, for you. first of all, Foot, I was your best man at your wedding. Yes, you are. And how are things going in the Foot marriage? Very happy, very happy. The duct tape is holding nicely. <laughs> you got to get in the closet, all wrapped up. Sure, she moans and groans a couple of times. Just hit her with a stick. Now, you have uh, something to add to uh, my wedding story? Yes, I guess she was so busy with that whole incident with. You know, between your mother and your new beloved wife, that you forgot that your mother-in-law was trashed and trying to pick up one of our friends. Oh God damn, that was right. I forgot and about don't that. Don't forget that dress that she was wearing. This white dress with these black polka dots. She looked like a drunken Dalmatian stumbling <laughs> all over your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> that shot is cute. <laughs> Th this was hysterical. Um, a, a foot. I'll explain. Hold on a minute. Right. Um, there was uh, uh, my mother-in-law, and uh, she was a little sauce too. Everybody just pounding him down. Sauce. So she's yeah. She's sitting on the couch. Um, my mother is uh, like on another couch, I guess. And uh, a friend of ours, uh, uh, Sean Simoleski, the bison, the bison, the bison, as we called him. Uh, he was sitting on the couch. Judy lays down, puts her legs over uh, the bison's legs. And starts passing out. The bison, who, you know, he was the worst with girls, I gotta say it, uh, <laughs> starts rubbing our legs. Yeah. He's rubbing our legs <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> and we're looking like, at uh, one point, Foot comes up to me and goes, What's the bison doing? I go, I don't know. He's, he's trying to pick up on my mother in law or something, and she's not stopping him. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm so trash. I'm like, Hey, the bison's trying to nail that Dalmatian. <laughs> 
Oh, thanks for that memory there, Foot. All right, I'm here to help. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. All right, well, we got audio by Aunt's right. mom talking to Ann at the wedding. All oh, right. Yeah. The world is a jungle. And if you want my advice, Anthony, <laughs> don't expect happiness. You won't get it. People let you down. And I'm not naming any names. But in the end, you die in your own arms. Wow. It seems like just yesterday that my mommy was giving me that speech. Hoofa. <laughs> uh... Hey, Pete, what's going on? Hey, Opie, Anthony, Norton, what's going on, hey, fellas? What up? And I just a question that's been boggling my mind for like the past half hour. Yeah. Did you get your photos taken in one of that little two dollar booth? <laughs> like in front of the grocery stores you see? Where you it know? spits out those six black and white photos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I just want to thank you too. Twenty six years old. Got a girlfriend and you're so talking me out of marriage with her right now. Yeah, it's just horrific. Oh man, let me yeah. tell you. All right, thank you, Pete. You're welcome. Uh, Beth from Alexandria, Virginia, saying uh, the sea is not the only thing Ant talked his ex into. <laughs> Very funny, Beth. <laughs> Ant, a crock pot is just as good as the George Foreman grill you gave Rick. <laughs> I didn't get Rick a George Foreman grill. Name was on it. My name was on it. I didn't buy the goddamn George Foreman grill for Rick's wedding. I cut Rick a nice check. I didn't know where the grill came from. Was that an engagement? No, that was a, a wedding, wedding rehearsal shower, shower yeah. gift. That was it. A wedding shower gift. But your name was on it. Thanks. Great. Anthony, got audio of uh, the guy that married you uh, way back when. <laughs> it's part of your uh, ceremony, actually. Uh huh. He looked right at you and said this. The power of Christ compels you! <laughs> the power of Christ compels you! I do! The power of Christ uh, compels you! I, I, I do! The power of Christ uh, compels yes, you! Yes, yes, I do! I... <laughs> Here's how much I want to get married. Oh, another memory, another memory. Oh, boy. Another memory. Hey, look at the time. I think we should break. Christmas... <laughs> I got engaged... Up in Massachusetts on Christmas, right? Because I that figured that sounds like a very lovely thing to do. No, why not? Um, first of all, now at this point, she's completely expecting it. Completely expecting it. Like it is—it's another thing. Like I said, I got on that track, and and she had planned all this. Like like, I j and I just went with it. My life was in such hell then. Like I really didn't care. So I'm like, what the what the hell, you know? You're stupid. Right, Anthony. I'm stupid. So um, I knew she was expecting it, right? You're a friggin' moron. I know, Anthony. I didn't even have the ring. Opie, do you know when I bought the ring? Are you, are, are you, 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 I'm talking to you. Oh, are uh, you listening? Usually I do. You're sure. Little, you need something to wipe your brow? I see you sweat. <laughs> Why are you sweating? <laughs> Well, Anthony, I bought the. Not both of us got divorced. I bought the ring, December twenty third, in Penn Station. <laughs> you get your gumball with that? I was taking the train up there because she had been up there already, and I was taking the train up there to propose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have Opie. You can come back. I'm opening the window. I need. To <laughs> I didn't have the ring. So I'm like, all right, now I just got to go out and buy the ring, I guess. Because we're a fine syndicated radio show. Uh, Penn Station is our local transit. I believe the nation does know okay. what Penn Station is. All it's right. the big but train station here in New York City. Where the hell in Penn Station do you buy a, a ring? Do you know all those stores that are in there? You didn't yeah. buy it off a uh, Ethiopian, did you? Yeah, I went into one of those jewelry stores in Penn Station. I pointed at one. And went, all right. And I think I spent, um, I think it was about 300 bucks on it. Oh, my God. And it was like, uh, I can't even make my fingers go that small. <laughs> <laughs> Trying. Hey, more uh, audio huh? of the guy what? that married you, Anthony. All right. This was right after you did your I do's. Oh, so okay. It, so it was officially. Yeah, had one right. other thing to say to you. Let's hear. You get nothing. <laughs> you lose Good day, sir. And he walked out. I thought it, I remember it as a handshake and a you know, good luck. But perhaps I'm just mistaken. So you bought the uh, the ring at uh, Penn Station. Penn Station. Okay. Yeah. Like right before I had to go up there, I had put it off as long as I could. 
But for some reason, I did it. And I went up, and, and that was it. Whew. You're romantic. Hopeless, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that there's two sides to every story, but as a chick, you don't want to hear that your guy just bought a ring in a train station. <laughs> I'm not saying that, you know... But this is her. all now coming back to me in a way that I'm looking at it like, oh, my God. You know, I'm kind of seeing where I was at at that point. I was a confused young man trying to, uh, I don't know, just doing anything. Like, my life was getting up, going to a job I hated, going to the bar, going home. What was it? So I'm figuring... All right. Hey, Ian, oh. I'll throw marriage into the mix. Maybe it'll spice things up. Who changed your life? Who changed my life? It was a wonderful guy <laughs> named uh, Brother Joe that sent a tape into Opie. <laughs> <laughs> you scared? <laughs> you scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that really, yes. that really is one to hold over someone's head. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, F you. Penn Station. All right, good point. Yeah, you're buying your ring at Penn Station. <laughs> and then you drove all the way up to Massachusetts and... Um, and then you asked. I went up to uh, Massachusetts. So that must yeah. have been nice. You probably, I don't know, went to dinner or something. No, no. It was in uh, the mother-in-law's uh, living room. Um, with uh, They were having a, a family Christmas party over there. And let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Hey, I just wanted a simple there answer. Was, oh, my yes God. No, would have been fine. They could pound them down, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. The first thing I did. Okay, here it is. The first thing I did. Oh, oh, I didn't take the train up there. I had got, got the ring there, but for some reason, I was going back out to Long Island to get my car. So I bought the ring. My car was a Volkswagen Beetle cut up and fiberglassed into a Baja Bug. Did you ever see these off-road vehicles with the engine exposed? <laughs> yeah. And the fiberglass rock. run? It's almost like a combination dune buggy uh, Volkswagen. Those, those rock if you're in California. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, I, yeah. I had to drive Hanging that. Hanging with Annette. I had, to, <laughs> I had to drive that up to Massachusetts in the middle of the winter with no heat. Oh. So I had I had blankets. I was wrapped up in blankets as I'm driving because <laughs> I was freezing cold <laughs> with, the, with the ring in your blue head. <laughs> I was freezing. So I finally get out there, four hours of freezing many, cold wind blowing through. Because when you cut up into a Baja bug, yeah. you take a lot of the front bulkhead off of the Volkswagen. And uh, through the speaker holes, icy cold air is blowing through. Through the speedometer, like, I felt freezing. So I'm wrapped in a blanket driving up there with my $300 Penn Station wedding ring. Ready to pop the question. Your ring cost 300 bucks. It was a $300 ring. You really <laughs> stunk. I was horrible. How many times? I was in hell. <laughs> I was in hell. Oh. The first thing I did, I pull up. Now the whole family's there. And this is the first time they're meeting me. This is the first time the family is even meeting me. And I'm ready to pop this question. I, and I'm, I'm freezing cold. I have the link from the Mod Squad Afro hairdo going. And I'm pulling up in a Volkswagen. <laughs> I'm the prince ready to sweep your little girl off her feet. <laughs> Here he comes. The knight in shining armor. <laughs> I go upstairs. The first thing I do is, you got Captain Morgan? Swear to God. I downed three... Captain Morgan's with splashes of coke in it. Whoosh! Whoosh! In huge water glasses. That's when I think they finally accepted me into the family. <laughs> and, um, yeah, then in a semi-drunken semi stupor, I, um, all I did was I opened up the box and I didn't even say, will you marry me, I don't think. I just went, here. <laughs> As I remember it. I think I said here. And everybody was like, oh, hey, hey. <sighs> Yeah. You bought your ring 10 feet from where homos cruise. <laughs> <laughs> I wish before I bought it, someone would have pushed me in front of a train. <laughs> it would have been less painful. <laughs> hey, uh, we found uh, audio of your, your dance. The first oh. dance is man and woman. Mm -hmm. Would you like to hear it? All right.
Bringing me right back. Thanks, guys. And dip. <laughs> that guy's great. <Whew>. Wow. <laughs> Pluto from Penn Station. He goes, here? You poet. <laughs> How could she resist? <laughs> uh. <sighs> mm -hmm. Do you at least feel better? No. It's like all coming back, and I realize how not in control of my life I was back then. Will from Cleveland. Anthony, don't you feel like a jackass? <laughs> well, no. It's Anthony, did you phone Z100 for a dedication song after you bought the ring in Penn Station? <laughs> that would have been sweet. A little shout out. <laughs> did you say here when you brought the other girl home? <laughs> <laughs> He's feeling very funny. I gotta give him credit, Jersey Bob. <laughs> uh, That's funny. <laughs> all right. Oh, you really were an ass. I know. What can I say? I was an ass. I had no control over my own life, and I went many years doing that, just kind of falling into a rut, and instead of like getting out of it, I would just go along and see where it was going to end up. But what, how do you get out of it? That's the tough thing. That's what's like, what you finally doing? get something in life that is cool and good and it, it gives you a little more incentive to either keep it or further yourself in the field or with somebody or anything else. Like when you're in a rut like that, I was just I wasn't happy the situation I was in, but I wasn't like completely miserable i just was there i was totally just existing i was existing hey uh travis what's up oh hey hey and i wanted to ask you phone number. yeah when you and joe pesci were driving to pick up the wedding cake in your air conditioning van <laughs> were you planning your bets for the horses or were you thinking about your new wife <laughs> oh my god that I, is so true. I called him a fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're going to check my oil? <laughs> hey, I got to tell you, you know. Yeah. I think I did pick up the uh, wedding cake in the Apollo air conditioning van. I remember it kind of sitting there. That's kind of nice. You the, uh, had a wedding console. cake? That's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. Okay, well, you want a break now? <laughs> oh, look at the time. Time flies when you're in therapy. <laughs> Here. <laughs> uh, Matt from Garden City, I just want to let you guys know that the light that says on the air is still on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. We like to vent. Well, sure. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to step aside. Yeah. I think we got as much as we can out of that one. All right. <laughs> And pay attention, ladies, that if your new fiancé has the romantic ability of leukemia, pray that he's funny. 